Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version 3.0 of Game Hub Windows emulator for Android this is a very major update which has lot of improvements in terms of performance new features and even compatibility so when you open the Game Hub emulator as usual you will see a pop up that the brand new version 3.0 update of Game Hub emulator has just launched so here's the change log of this brand new version you will be able to see added team profile page added team account login functionality added a local mobile game list as well as virtual button mapping for mouse wheel scrolling integrated support for a different controller added a reminder to create shortcuts when exiting cloud gaming pc link and pc emulator added progress notifications fix the issue where pc games icon disappeared after clearing cache fix the issue where importing new configuration for pc emulator virtual buttons failed fix the issue where game sound disappeared fix the issues where startup screen for games like watch dogs warcraft 3 just cause were displayed abnormally in pc emulator pc emulator supports mouse capture and resolves dual cursor problem fix an issue where steam games would crash fix and optimized other known issues so we'll simply tap on update now and make sure to update our game hub emulator to its latest version now that the update is successful you guys will be able to see our game hub windows emulator has successfully started running on our device now the first thing which we'll do is simply tap on on menu go to games and here in terms of games list we have a brand new category known as mobile games so basically here you can go to mobile games and make sure to import your mobile games as well which can be run using the game hub emulator now basically game hub acts as a front end where you will be able to add the games that you have on your android device into this front end where you can directly launch the games that you want to so here if i just go and go back as you guys can see all my mobile games have been detected and added right here i can simply tap on any of them and tap on play now and the game will successfully start so isn't that pretty cool feature but we also have a steam feature as well which means that now we'll be able to emulate steam games on our android devices you can log into your steam you can also access local games which means emulate native steam games on your android devices now i'll be making a dedicated video on how to set up steam emulator inside the game hub windows emulator for that you will need to make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as soon as this video reaches 200 likes i'll upload that video though in today's video we'll be focusing on the pc game section where here in runtime you will be able to see the firmware version of the game hub emulator we can also change the compatibility layers that are available along with that translator gpu drivers and much more but let's just go ahead and go back to pc game section for today's video we'll be trying out dragon ball sparking zero this game did not work on my android device no matter how many times i tried it out in the older versions of game hub emulator i want to see if it works on the version 3.1 of game hub or not here in terms of game resolution i always recommend you guys to go with the lowest resolution possible for example in today's video we'll go with 800 by 600 resolution in terms of compatibility go to translation parameters and make sure to turn on performance afterwards go back DXVK version you can set it as you'll be able to see there are a lot of new DXVK wrappers that are available in the game hub emulator including the 2.6.1 asynchronous but for today's video we'll go with 2.5.2.1 asynchronous yeah that's a huge version nonetheless let's just go ahead and go to VKD3D version make sure to select it as 2.12 or 2.13 depending on the game that you are emulating in terms of CPU translator we'll go with 32.1 for box 64 other than that we'll go to controller make sure to enable controller support and then in terms of component we'll need to tap here and make sure to add the Microsoft VC Redis 2022 so that our Dragon Ball Sparking Zero actually works on our Android device if Dragon Ball Sparking Zero doesn't work we'll test out GTA 4 and if you want me to test out GTA 5 as well do let me know in the comment section down below and there we go dependency has been successfully added so what are we waiting for simply tap on the play now button and let's see if Dragon Ball Sparking Zero works or not so there we have the game fusion loading screen and finally Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has successfully booted inside the game hub emulator android as you'll be able to see at the top left corner we have an fps bar but it seems like the fps was frozen for few seconds but nonetheless here we go our game has successfully started we'll go to settings make sure to enable full screen as well as input mapping for the on screen touch controls and here we go dragon ball sparking zero surprisingly is about to boot on our android device inside this brand new version of game hub emulator so let's just go ahead and confirm everything else and then i'll be back once the game actually starts by the way here at the top left corner i am able to see the cpu usage is almost reaching 95 percent which means that the game hub emulator is utilizing the full potential of my uh, android device not the cpu by the 
the way I meant GPU you will be able to see 97% GPU usage and this is actually pretty amazing I have never tried out Dragon Ball Sparking Zero inside Game Hub emulator and I always wanted to try out because this game is one of the newest titles that I have so here we go in emulator Android you will be able to see at the top left corner we are getting almost 30 plus FPS now there are graphical issues and that's because the device which I am using in today's video has a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device and because of that as a graphics driver is still not optimized we do have graphical issues but other than that everything is working pretty amazingly and even in intense areas the game is not freezing at all in win later android this game used to freeze quite a lot if you guys remember then every two seconds the game used to freeze whereas now in game hub emulator 3.0 there is no freezing issue there is no crashing issue the fps is also pretty amazing at the top left corner as you'll be able to see 38 fps not bad at all and uh, along with that we also have 79 percent gpu usage and 87 percent ram usage anyways do let me know in the comment section down down below what do you guys think about the brand new version of game hub emulator android i'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching goodbye